He's got the D. He's got the E. He's the Daryl. It's Daryl E. Hey guys, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's been a bit a few. It's been longer than a few days, like I promised in my last video. I I do that. I. My bad. But let's just forget that fact and uh, let's just move on, yeah? Shall we? Yeah? Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much this week we got our school photos. Well, yesterday actually. So, I'm actually going to talk about that in this video. When it comes to school photos, everyone tries to get ready, you know what I mean? Everyone tries to put on makeup, everyone tries to get, you know, good looking. I don't know how you get good looking, but they try to be good looking, you know? The girls put on makeup, the guys try to shave. <laughs> actually, now that I think of it, it's probably present in my photos. Let's have a look. Yep, definitely present. So you get my point. Pretty much everyone tries to get ready for photos to look good. I mean, if you look bad in a photo, you pretty much get judged on that photo for the rest of your life, which is pretty much what I'm gonna get judged on with that picture of me looking like a douchebag. So let me break it down for you first. When you get your photos, you pretty much get a form that you're supposed to, you know, fill out and you're supposed to choose what sort of photos you want. You can either have portrait photos or you can have pocket-sized photos. Of course, you'll get your ID if you go to school. And then, of course, you can get your class photos or whole school photos or whatever kind of school you're in, elementary or primary or whatever. So once you've made your order, you put in the money, you make sure you got the right amount because a lot of them don't actually give you change because they're too lazy to. Then... And then you give it to your teacher who pretty much, or you give it to the photo people when they come along and then you just take your photo. But what I've noticed growing up um, and getting photos pretty much every single year of my life is the fact that my parent wants me to always get certain amount of photos. He wants me to get the portrait ones, the pocket size ones, the IDs, and of course the class photo. Let me break it down for you. As a philo, half philo, honorary philo, whatever you want to call it, parents want us to get all these photos for certain reasons. I'll start off with the school photo. They want you to get a school photo because it makes you look academically smart. Now you could be the most stupidest philo in the whole damn school, but they'll want that thing because obviously it's photography, it's trick photography. You're going to look smart in front of all of their friends, which is which is fine by me. I mean, I'm not even the smartest dude out. Not even close, but... Pretty much when the friends come over, you know, they can look at this photo and they'll be like, Oh, wow! Your son's so academically smart! And the response of your parent is pretty much, Yeah, of course! I raised him! Why wouldn't he be so academically smart? It's impossible. Because I'm good. Fellow parents do that. I'm telling you that now. And then of course you've got the portrait photos, which are pretty much like your school photos, but it's just you. And that puts you on the spotlight even more because they pretty much show it off to everybody. Oh wow! I'm boggy ng anak mo! Uh, yeah. Of course, man. It's friggin... Look at that portrait. Damn! It's so hot! They're for show and tell, okay? They pretty much... they. It's like a pocket size you, okay? They, they show it to their friends and they're like, Take it! Take it! Now, look at my son! Daughter! Thing. It's beautiful. And now we get down to the pocket size. So pretty much the pocket size ones are obviously pocket size, but they're the ones that they keep in their wallets, you know? Because if you go far away or you move away for school, like a lot of fillers do, they want to have some sort of memory of you. And it's always in their wallet because that is where all the money is and they want to get the money and every time they get the money, your face is there and they like to see it. And they want to say, oh, there's my son, daughter, it, something. Oh, it's, I miss you. <laughs> And last but not least, you've got the school IDs. School IDs, man, they're just, they're, they're for you, okay? Pretty much a lot of students I know just got school IDs. I mean, why would they, why would they get portraits? I mean, it's not like they got friends or anything that they want to show. What? I would show you all my photos, but the thing is, it's pretty much the same pose in every single photo. So I don't know if you'd want to look at that all the time. I thought I'd just make this quick video. It's not even a rant. It's not even a vlog. It's, I, I don't know. It's me being... I guess motivated to make a video. Um, I'm on my last week next week for uh, term one, so I'll be on a break and then I'll release my video. <laughs> Boom. So guys, stay tuned. Uh, I want to thank this guy down below do, 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 do. Uh, for the intro of this video and also for the outro of this video, which is pretty cool. Uh, he made it on the spot and he sounds amazing. Amazing. If you guys have any comments or stories that you want to post, just put them below and uh, I'll read them. Definitely put them in my next video if there's a lot of them. If there's not, then I hate you. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. But I'll see you guys next time I make a video, which should hopefully be a fun one and a proper one too. See ya! Boom.
the video is done. Subscribe and have fun.